This is how I spent all of my Friday evening the night before the game. I was just learning Bella Chow on the piano. Pretty weird. So today we have got a pretty big game. We are playing at home. Finally, we're playing at home. I feel like we haven't played, well, we actually haven't played at home for about three weeks, maybe. But today we are playing against Crew, which last time we played them away, we actually beat them. But again, they are a very much improved side and they've been getting some really good results recently. So it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be tough. Yeah, the knee still isn't feeling amazing, but... I'm feeling good today, feeling fresh. Let's get some breakfast. All right, so breakfast this morning, we have got four whole eggs, two pieces of toast, um, use brown bread, just for a bit of fiber, and then also four bacon medallions, lots of salt and pepper. Hopefully the salt's just helping out with the cramps. Boys, trust me, sweet chili sauce on scrambled egg on toast. Absolute banger. So there is only three more match day vlogs, and I wanted to thank every single one of you watching this video right now for watching these videos, enjoying them, because I love making them. But after the season, I'm still going to be making rugby content. But I've got a lot of big things planned for YouTube this year. And there is also about 75% of you watching right now who aren't subscribed. So hit that button, make sure to subscribe. And also, I never set like a like target. So can we get a thousand likes on this video? Right, so this morning, not really doing too much. I've just got a few client check-ins and I'm also setting up a new client who's starting next week. As you can see here, just going through some form checks with my clients. Just like to make sure all of the execution is absolutely bang on so execution and the intensity of all the exercises in their programs so this is something that i provide with my one-to-one -one coaching now my spaces are filling up quickly and i'm going to be opening them for march if you are interested in working with me one-to-one -one, there are limited spaces so if you want to get involved you want to join the team the link will be in the description below to inquire then i'll be in contact with you either via instagram or whatsapp <laughs> Anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Sponsored by Red Bull this week because the video went so well last different week. Different sponsor every week. Yeah. Well, you got cuz. Just oh, perfect. perfect. The video has been taken at all protein. It's getting sturdy. <laughs> 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 So today we are playing against Crew and we are playing at home. First home game in a couple of weeks and it's already looking like it's going to be a tough game. I didn't get this on film but they did score a penalty in the first like couple of minutes so a very bad start for us and Crew are 3-0 up. So then kicking off again, uh, I managed to get the ball. I'm in traffic, there's about three people who just dragged me out uh, which they seem pretty happy about but it was a penalty. Here with a good line out, it's the first line out of the game. But again, uh, crew did manage to turn that over and get a penalty. Just to mention as well, we were missing quite a few of our players this week. So Pete Fitz, Liam Taylor, Bash is out injured, and Simon Weaver also. So our front row was kind of all over the place. But the boys had stepped up and we've still got a very strong team. So crew here showing some domination in the scrum and their eight who was massive to be fair, um, with a good carry. And again, their eight here with a good carry, making some good meters. However, it was a penalty, which their fullback stepped up and slotted through the post. Not even 10 minutes in and we are six nil down. Not a good start for us. So crew again with some good attack, um, doing some expansive rugby. Their, their backs were pretty quick as well. Just nudged it through, which Adam is coming to get and he's just slipped, which their winger then gets on and goes over for their first try. Oh, Adam, it's not even an excuse of a muddy pitch. We're on a 4G Astro, uh, which their player doesn't convert. Boys, if you're enjoying this camera quality as well, let me know because I had my videographer there today and I'm trying to make these as quality as I can. So if you want to see more of this quality, leave a like and a comment. Just let me know what you think. So crew on the counter attack here, they're 13. He was absolutely massive. He can't be, he can't be a center. 
Uh, but they did manage to make a good a bit of yardage from this. So for the next 10 minutes, there was no point scored. It was just kind of end to end, a few mistakes being made. So here was a loose ball to me. Again, we're on the back foot. Um, we've got no front foot ball and I'll just have to take it into traffic, which I got tackled and actually <laughs> stripped the ball as well. But Ben here with a great intercept, uh, he's managed to get through, step one of their players, get the offload into Dean. Who Dean then gets caught by their winger. Elliot here with a nice little handoff and a step, giving it to Rob. Rob with just a carry into traffic. So about five minutes later now, a good line out to the back, who George carries that over. And he's literally about 10 minutes out here, but some good tackles from their defense. So then we go to try to go wide, Ben, into Rob. Rob gives it to Will. Will with a nice crash ball, and we are gaining meters. Now Rob crashing it up. Getting over the line, but crew managed to hold him up. But we have got a scrum advantage and it goes from George to Dean, Dean into Adam, and Adam just about gets over the line for our first try. Nicely done, Adam. That kind of makes up for your mistake earlier in the game. And Ben did actually get the conversion as well. Great reply from crew, uh, literally about two minutes later. They get a penalty, they do miss it. Okay, so I had to put this in. So we're on the attack and Ben gives a pass to Will and their player catches it. Uh, what a collision. I think he actually might have gone off injured for that. Right, so this was my first high ball of the game. So their uh, centre, I think, has put their ball up, which I catch. Uh, I step on the outside past their eight and then step one of their forwards as well, but then just run into traffic. That has got to be a high tackle. <laughs> Watch that again. The shoulder straight to the head. Ref didn't give a penalty or anything for that. I mean, good shot to be fair. Getting a bit of front football now, but still not too much. Um, some good play here. Bit of a loose ball from Ben, but Brandon making the meters. And then Will here on a hard crash ball, gives a pop to Corey, and Corey just about drops it, and he was in for the try there. And that was the first half done. Very bad start from us. Crew have obviously turned up, and they want to win this game. This is probably one of our worst performances of the season so far. So going into the second half, we got a penalty within the first couple of minutes, but Ben unfortunately missed that. So the score still stood 11-7 to Crew. So some good attacking play here. Ben into Rob. Rob's there. Oh, could have gotten the two-on-one but he takes it into traffic. We're on the front foot here. Here we get another penalty and Ben slots this one over and manages to get it. So their winger here, he was actually pretty quick on the other side to me. Um, he's got around a few of our players there. Pretty good, solid run. Now this next 10 minutes, we were literally defending our line. It was scrum after scrum after scrum. There's a few penalties picked up within our five. Then crew were carrying the ball and they were literally five meters out and they do manage to then get the ball over the line to make it 16-10, which the kicker does convert, and that is 18-10 to crew. Here's some more involvement from me. The ball was hardly coming wide on the front foot, um, so I've got this, uh, just carried it in. I definitely should have went wide, to be fair. Now, here's a good bit of attack from crew. Uh, their fullback is stepping on the outside, put a two-on-one with me, which I then managed to get across and just get their player into touch. As I kind of leaped off to, to tackle him, my calf just completely seized up. Now you can see Dean stretching me off and I was out of the game. So now Warsaw on the attack, Ben here with a good step inside and another step and another step and he gets that off to Dean. Now Warsaw's still on the attack, George here with a nice carry, absolutely boshes their 10. Uh, but gets tackled. So the second half, we were attacking a little more. Um, you know, we still weren't playing at our, our full performance. But again, look at Crew's line speed. It's very quick, so they're up on us and we just got no front football. So it's pretty good defense from Crew. Uh, but Will here with a nice handoff out the back to Adam. Ben steps inside. Good leg drive, and he manages to get over for the try. Ben absolutely loved that one. But we literally had 30 seconds left. Ben missing the kick under pressure, and that was the game over. So some very disappointed faces there. But fair play to crew. They turned up, they put the performance in, and they did deserve to win the game this week. But I guess it's another learning curve for us. This is our first season in this league. So from me and another Match Day vlog, I'll see you in the next video.